National for a record third time. Brian Fletcher, Tommy Stack, Tommy Carberry or Bob Davis? I, I'm sorry, Mike. I, I'm afraid um, horse raising um, was, wasn't one of my um, specialisms. I'm sorry, Mike. <laughs> I, really, no, I would really be guessing. I'm ever so sorry. Right, OK, thank you very much, Chris. <laughs> Um, I, th I think Brian Fletcher rode th the first two times. The third time, I think there was a different jockey, and I've got no idea who it is, so I'll take the money. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Sure, 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 yeah. Sure, 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 very sure. <laughs> yeah. Final answer, you can take the money? Yeah. OK, give him a big hand, he's been brilliant. <laughs> what am I? £64,000. I can tell you what you said in a second, I can tell you that actually the 35%, actually the majority of this audience were right. It was actually Tommy Stack on the third mm. time around. Mike, you've got £64,000. Now it's time to meet tonight's ten brand-new contestants. They are Peter Lee from Cardigan. Derek Morton from Londonderry. Rob Watson from Plymouth. David Neal from North Lincolnshire. Chris Lowe from Birmingham. Andy Meldrum from West Sussex. Ian Madonna from Cheshire. Derek Davy from Leicestershire. Sarah Scofield from Wiltshire. And Andrew Jenkins from Surrey. Right, you big hand. That's got ten contestants for tonight. Now, fastest finger first. I'm going to give the contestants a question of four possible answers. Whoever puts the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time will be the next tonight to play for one million pounds. No calling out in the audience, please. We want them to concentrate. Right. Fastest finger first. Here comes the question. Starting with the earliest, put these four English queens in the order in which they reigned. Anne, Elizabeth I, Mary I, Victoria. OK, let's have a look at the order, then. Starting with the earliest, four English queens in the order in which they reigned. First one, 1553, was Mary I. Then it was Elizabeth I, 1558. Uh, Anne came to the throne, 1702. And then Victoria in 1837. That's the right order. Let's see how many of these got it right. Then let's find out who got it right in the fastest time. All these got it correct, two of them. David Neal in 5.29 was fastest. Well done, David. Yes, please. This is David Neal. He's from Belton in North Lincolnshire. Up there in the audience uh, is his wife, Janet. Uh, they're quite a busy family, actually. David runs a garage tonight. David's three sons are helping Dada. Anthony is going to be a phone a friend. Pressure there. Uh, Darren is looking after the dog, and Andrew is running the garage for Dad. So it's quite a family effort, actually, isn't it? Mm. You haven't been away from this country. You and your wife haven't been abroad for ten years. Where would be your dream place to visit? Um, I haven't got a lot of choice. The wife wants to go to the Seychelles. I'd read the Seychelles, then, will it, Dave? Mm, yeah, yeah, fine. Sorted. Okay. I'm quite happy, actually. I'm quite happy at that. OK. Right, let's keep going. Fifteen questions, three new lifelines, 50-50. Ask the audience and phone a friend. Right, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's play. I know you're very eager to start. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> right, question number one for £100. Here it comes. Which event takes place under the big top? The proms. Queen's Garden Party, Circus, or PM's Question Time? <laughs> um, it's Circus, Chris. We would have accepted uh, D, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> circus is the right answer, you've got £100. <laughs> OK, for £200, have a look at question number two. What's the American term for a man with a handsome, muscular physique? Cream cake, sponge cake. Beefcake or fairy cake? <laughs> Do they say he looks a bit of a fairy cake? I think it might be beefcake. I think you're probably right. You've got 200 pounds. Well done. <laughs> okay, for 300 pounds, question number three on 15. Have a look. 
Which gardening equipment do you associate with the characters Bill and Ben? Gardening equipment. Wheelbarrows. Pruning shears. Flower pots. Or sit on lawnmowers. <laughs> I think it's flower pots, Chris. <laughs> they weren't Bill and Ben the sit on lawnmower men, were they? No, no. no. It's right, you got 300 quid. Well done, Mike. <laughs> Have a look at the next question, question number four. With which country is the sombrero hat most closely associated? France, Turkey, India, Mexico. It's D, Mexico. It's right answer, you got 500 quid. <laughs> This is the last point at which you could go home with nothing. It's the one that everybody breathes a sigh of relief when they get to the next question. Number five. It's worth a thousand pounds. This is it. Which of these words refers to an over theatrical actor? Beef, ham, pork, mutton. It's, it's ham, Chris. It's the right answer. You got a thousand pounds. Next question, question number six is worth £2,000. Here it comes. Joe DiMaggio was famous for playing which sport? Baseball, basketball, American football, ice hockey. It's baseball, Chris. Sure? Mm -hmm. Ever seen him? No. Final answer? Yeah. It's good, you've got £2,000. <laughs> So I think you and your wife could start talking about, um, about a holiday. You've got mm -hmm. £2,000 at the moment. You're guaranteed £1,000. You've still got all three lifelines. Have a look at the next question. You would drop back to £1,000 if you gave me the wrong answer, but it's worth £4,000. So here it is. What is the currency unit of the member states of the EU that have adopted monetary union? The EQ, the Gilda, the Euro or the Florin? Take your time, look at it. It's worth £4,000. You have got three lifelines. What's the currency unit of the member states of the EU that have adopted monetary union? Is it the EQ? Is it the Gilda? Is it the Euro? Is it the Florin? It's C, the Euro. Have you seen any? No. Nope. Nor has anybody else. It's the right answer. You've got £4,000. <laughs> well, don't want it. Don't want it. Stick it the ground. You've got £4,000, you've still got three lifelines. You're guaranteed £1,000, you would drop £3,000 if you gave me a wrong answer. You don't have to play this, but it's worth £8,000. David, have a look, question number eight. The Great Barrier Reef stretches the length of the coast of which Australian state? You know this one, don't you? Mm -hmm. Victoria, New South Wales, Northern Territory, Queensland. D, Queensland. Why were you so confident? I did Australia at geography. A long, long time ago. Why well, that if you're right? Final answer? Mm hmm It's the right answer. You've got £8,000. <laughs> You've got £8,000. Have a look at the next question. You've still got all three lifelines. You've got 50-50, you've got phone a friend, you can ask the audience. You are seven questions away from one million pounds. Question number nine, if you want to play it, it's worth 16,000. You would drop 7,000 if you gave me a wrong answer. Have a look. What was Frank Sinatra's middle name? Michael, Edward, Albert, Joseph. You've got three lifelines. Sure. Um, can I ask the audience? You can. Audience, on your keypads, please. It's worth £16,000 to David. What was Frank Sinatra's middle name? A, B, C or D? All vote now. Sixty-one percent think he was called Albert. Uh, Twenty-two percent say Joseph. Nine percent, eight percent. 
It's up to you. You've still got two more lifelines. You've got eight thousand pounds at the moment. Sixty-one percent, say Albert. Uh, Twenty-two, Joseph. It's worth sixteen thousand pounds. It's one of the ones I was thinking of. What are you thinking, Dave? What are you... Yeah, I'll go with the audience, Albert. See. Do we trust these people? Some of them, by the looks of them. <laughs> one or two shadies. They're lucky they're sitting in the dark. Um, gonna go, final answer. Yeah. Se they've cost you seven thousand pounds if they're wrong. Mm -hmm. Final answer. Yeah. Albert. Albert. They've won you sixteen thousand pounds. Four Weddings is back, and our brides will be revealing all. We've got an extra speaker as well. He's going to be in the bar. More madness. The venue looks like a mental hospital. More meringues. Didn't like the dress at all. And more mouthing off. She reminds me of Becky Pollard with lovely hairstyle. Oh, my God, I attended your wedding. Nice. Let the battle of the brides commence. One of the weddings have got to have a pub cup, and I think it's this wedding. Brand new Four Weddings starts Monday at 9, exclusive to living. When the job's got your name on it and you work this hard, you need a paint that gives you a professional finish. Wix have reformulated their paint. When tested, 8 out of 10 professionals preferred the coverage and finish of new Wix white vinyl matte emulsion to the brand leader. Try it yourself and you'll understand why. A new paint range. It's got our name on it. Wix. Take out pet insurance from more than and you can keep all your pets happy. With the vet phone service, you can call a qualified vet nurse free anytime and ask anything about your pet's well-being. If they could talk and have fingers, they'd ring it themselves. Imagine a cat with fingers. I'd give it a high five. Get 20% off when you buy online. Call or visit us at morethan.com. So you're buying your better half an anniversary present and you don't want her to find out. Just turn on in private browsing in Internet Explorer 8, do your thing, clickety-click, and no one knows what you've been up to. Your secret's safe. I'm a PC and... Oh, hello, dear. At Smirnoff, we triple distill and filter ten times because we believe a purer vodka is a better vodka. Can you see what we mean? Man off. Why compromise? The Barbecue Rods Box Meal. With a barbecue rod, barbecue fillet burger, barbecue beans, fries, and drink. The KFC Barbecue Rods Box Meal, only $4.89. Madbid.com is the online auction site that sells brand new goods for a fraction of their retail price. Look at some of the amazing bargains Madbidders have walked away with. A brand new MacBook Pro, £66.11. A Fiat 500, £185. Go to Madbid.com, enter code MADTV3 and get five free bids. Madbid.com, it's totally mad. Of course, you know what all the smart people are looking at. Go compare, go compare, insurance deals, buy your wheels waiting there. Search no longer, go say some longer, and you'll thank your stars that you went to go compare. Any other tips? Go and cover the fish. Yes, you'll thank your stars that you went to go compare. Cleaner Close, episode 30. No hot water. It's the fourth time for my wedding dress. I'll never get the wipe right on a cool wash. Bet you're a balm cake to a wine gum we can. Daz cleans out the dirty, even at 30. Get the muck out of that, then. Oh, you look just like one of them.
them princesses? Ma? How can you have the front to wear white? What about Dad? He's not your dad. Dad's liquid tabs get out the dirty even at 30. Okay, so you're online and you, <laughs> you click on this free download, but before you get there, Internet Explorer 8 has a safety feature that tells you it's dodgy and blocks the site before your computer gets infected. 